الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين فمن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد رب إشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحد الأقطة من لساني يبقوا قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته May the peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon all. I wish you all a very good morning. I am Muhammad Azmatullah, and I will be your host for the day, inshallah. It's a great pleasure and honor to have you all as our guests today. Indeed, it's a very special day, a day which will go down in history in golden letters for the reforms it has pioneered. This is the beginning of another chapter in the book of Iqlas IS Academy, which has had the privilege of pioneering many firsts, be it the first IS Academy in a masjid campus, a first IS Academy in a masjid to house women candidates, be it business webinars or all the other activities that it does, and the list goes on. Today, we have gathered here to witness another first a platform to mold and shape the aspirations of multitudes of young minds and hearts which have dreamed to serve this great nation and the community. Without any further delay, inshallah, we'll begin our program with the recitation of the Quran. I request Brother Kashif to please grace us with the recitation of the Holy Quran. Brother Kashif. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هو الذي خلق لكم ما في الأرض جميعا ثم استوى إلى السماء فسواهن سبع سماوات وهو بكل شيء أليم وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةً قَالُوا أَتَجْعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُ فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُ الدِّمَاءَ وَنَحْنُ نُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِكَ وَنُقَدِّسُ لَكَ قَالَ إِنِّي يَعْلَمُ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ وَأَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا ثم أرضأهم على الملائكة وقال أنبئوني بأسماه هؤلاء إن كنتم صادقين قالوا سبحانك لا إلم لنا إلا ما ألمتنا إنك أنت الأليم الحكيم قال يا آدم أنبئهم بأسمائهم فلما أنبأهم بأسمائهم قال ألم أكن لكم إني يألم غيب السماوات والأرض وألم ما تبدون وما كنتم تكتمون وإذ قلنا للملائكة اسجدوا لآدم فسجدوا إلا إبليس أبا واستكبر وكان من الكافرين Translation. He it is who created for you all that is on earth. Then towards the heaven and made them seven heavens and he is the all lower of everything. And remember, when your Lord said to the angels, Verily, I am going to place generations after generations on earth. They said, Will you place therein those who will mischief therein and shed blood? And he who taught Adam all the names and then he showed them of the angels and said, Tell me the names of these if you are truthful. The angel said, Glory be to you. We have no knowledge except what you have taught us. Verily it is you, the all knower and all wise. He said, O Adam, inform them of the names. And when he had informed them of the names, he said, Did I not tell you that I know the unseen and the heavens and the earth? And I know what you reveal and what you have been concealing. And remember, when we said to the angels, Prostrate yourself before Adam, and they prostrate except Iblis. He refused and was proud and was one of the disbelievers. Jazakallah. Alhamdulillah. Pretty apt verses for today. A summary of the importance of learning and knowledge, and the importance of how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon the humans than the angels, and that is why learning and seeking knowledge is also obligatory upon all Muslims. 
Only the light of knowledge drives you out of darknesses, of ignorance. And finally, the verses remind us the consequences of being arrogant and how Iblis was arrogant and he was sent down from the heavens as a disbeliever. Subhanallah. We hope our aspirants will seek knowledge, learn, and excel in serving the community and never lean towards arrogance, inshallah. Well, taking the event forward, I request Brother Khalid Muhammad, who is the treasurer of Ikhlas Trust, to please welcome our guests, Brother Khalid Muhammad. Dear brothers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'd like to thank each and everyone for being here with us today. Ikhlas IAS Academy is pleased to be able to welcome each and uh, one of you for this event, which is a landmark event for us in Ikhlas IAS Academy. Uh, and it's a, mind, uh, it's a milestone and uh, it's a pioneering effort to bring about changes in lives of all the aspirants of EPSC. Uh, you must be knowing about the class IAS Academy for uh, over eight years we have been in the service and this is our ninth year and we have always uh, done uh, the best to the community and the society. Uh, this year uh, we are bringing in uh, the online course which is going to be launched today by our uh, chief guest. For the aspirants before we ask what the community has given us we need to ask ourselves what we have given to the community and the society in general and following this principle we are looking forward to bring about a revolution in the field of uh, uh, education through uh, Public Service Commission uh, and the Union's uh, Public Service Commission. Uh, before we get started, I would like to uh, express my sincere uh, appreciation, gratitude, and uh, thanks to our chief guests today, Mr. Shakil Akhtar Saab, I IPS, uh, Mr. Uh, Siddiq Sir, IAS, and Mr. Nandakumar Sir, IARS. Thank you everyone for giving us your valuable time. Your association and inputs help us to reap better result every time. And uh, we have been very thankful to you for all these years uh, in supporting us. We are delighted to have you all here with us today. Uh, I would also like to extend a warm welcome to our chairman, uh, Brother Ahmed Miran, our uh, director, Brother uh, Mr. Sadakutullah sir, our advisor, uh, Brother Bashir Ahmed IAS sir, and the entire team of IAS, uh, class IAS Academy. Uh, and also our secretary, Brother Ismail Said Sahab, who have been uh, playing a major role in making this even uh, a successful one. This wouldn't be possible without all the team, you know, the complete team of Ikhlas IAS Academy. And thank you everyone for uh, making this event a grand one. On behalf of the Ikhlas IAS Academy and from the bottom of my heart, I would uh, like to welcome you all to this grand launch event of APAC Online Foundation course. Uh, in the continuation of this uh, speeches and uh, Brother uh, Azmatullah will give you more insights of the course in the coming time in the next few hours. And uh, we are gathered here for a cause, inshallah. This platform is the aim at uh, bringing ease to the UPSC experience in this hard time, it, at this difficult time, at this challenging time, to achieve a success in the goals and turn benefit uh, to the society. Today, I stand before you, extend a warm welcome to be a part of history and to witness the reforms ahead, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Brother Azmatullah, inshallah, you just continue. Jazakallah uh, khair. Brother Khalid, Alhamdulillah, as Brother Khalid has mentioned, indeed, it will be a major milestone and a reform for the time to come. As we know, every obstacle presents an opportunity, and every opportunity which is embraced is a path closer to achieving eminence. The biggest obstacle that we are facing today is in the form of coronavirus. Although it has had devastating effects on the lives of all human beings all across the world. It has also provided opportunities for the ozone layer to heal its whole, to make the air cleaner to breathe, to make the water cleaner. The obstacle of coronavirus could not hinder I, uh, a class IS Academy in serving the community to nurture and to bring forth civil servants from the community. Now, the aim of our UPSC Foundation online course is to select eligible and hardworking aspirants for a class IAS Academy's one year UPSC residential coaching program. And we also give insights about the UPSC civil services exams to all those who aspire to become civil servants. With this, I would now like to call upon a name which is very prominent in the community, a name which every single person knows, a name and a person who never 
Tires Away to Health, the Managing Director of Professional Careers, the Chairman of a Class Trust, and above all, a person who is loved and cherished by the community. Our Chairman, Janab Ahmed Miran Saab, to deliver the Chairman's address. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu. Audhu billahi minash shaitan rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Respected Chief Guest, Mr. Muhammad Sakil Akhtar, IPS, Additional Director General of Police, Government of Tamil Nadu. Mr. M. A. Siddiq, IAS, <coughs> Commissioner of Commercial Taxes, Special Officer of Tamil Nadu, Work Force, Principal Secretary, Special Institute Department, Mr. V. Nandakumar, IRS, Additional Commissioner for Income Tax, Mr. P. M. Bashir Ahmed, IAS, Audit Advisor, Class IAS Academy, Dr. J. Sadakutullah, Director, Class IAS Academy, Mr. Ismail Seth, Secretary, Class IAS Academy, Mr. Khalid, Treasurer, and my dear trustees, IAS aspirants, and my dear well wishes. Once again, I wish you is the Islamic greeting. Aslam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It is my honor and pleasure to preside over the inaugural function of online classes being conducted by Class IAS Academy. I'm very happy to see that there are more than 200 participants are in this Zoom class. Of course, we are in a challenge period. Unexpected COVID-19 is, is across the world and it is a challenging period for all of us. People are being held up in our houses and we cannot be able to move. Our plan of inaugurating this online IAS course was initiated, of course, before the COVID-19. We have a plan of inaugurating these online classes almost two, two months back. So it is not because of COVID-19, it is our plan. See, our IAS Academy was started in 2012. Almost we have completed eight years of operations and our purpose is to engage our community people particularly, of course, it is for our community, particularly to Muslim community people, tempting them to appear for the UPSC examinations. See, there are basic, a lot of reasons why our Muslim community are not appearing for the UPSC examination, as well as they, they, they don't like to join government jobs. Basically, there is no interest in our community people to become IAS officers, IPS officers, or even to join government jobs. They have low esteem, they have low confidence. They become one to graduates. After becoming graduates, their main <coughs> mission is to go abroad or to, to join private companies and to earn some money. The reason is the parents, they don't like to them to join, uh, to, to help them to prepare this kind of examination mean because they like to join this, their sons and daughters to join jobs because economically they are backward. They want their sons and daughters to earn money to support the family. This is a primary cause. That is why they are not <coughs> helping the, their sons and daughters to prepare themselves for the examinations. If you take some one year, two years for them, it is it is a, it's a costly affair, number one. Number two, as I told you, that uh, people generally, they, they want to earn money quickly. For that, they like to go abroad, they want to join, they want to make money. But basically, our people, they don't understand the, the seriousness of the government jobs. The government jobs are a platform to serve the community. In fact, uh, I have recently listened to a young uh, IAS officer recently, a person who worked uh, in the duty in 2015, he has worked in the front uh, relief program, and he saw the people the, their sufferings and the, the, the way in which he has helped the people and they have uh, their satisfaction made him to prepare himself for the IAS examination and he got through the examinations. It is the will of the uh, people on seeing the sufferings of people. He thought that why can't we serve the community by becoming IAS officers. By becoming IAS officers, IPS officers, government officers, it's a wonderful platform to serve the community. With these, all these ideas, community people thought of having an IAS academy and with this mission, our IAS Academy started in 2012, as already informed by our brother Kali. It is conducted in, in, a, in, in Masjid with a wonderful environment and uh, giving a full support to the students. We have been running this institute for the last eight years and we have a lot of success stories. I'm, I just want to inform about the UPS, exam, UPS examination to the to the 200 aspirants. See, the UPSC examination is conducted by Saral government to select IAS particularly to IAS, IPS, and IFS officers, of course, in various government organizations also. It is a preliminary examination in which there are two kinds of tests are there. First is preliminary examination. Then second is main examination. Third is personal interview. Through this UPSC examination, Union Public Service Commission examination, students are being selected for IAS, IPS, IFS, IRS, and in various departments like railways, engineering jobs and postal department. Also, central government is conducting various examinations, combined defense services exam examination, national defense academy examination, naval academy examination, Indian economic service, Indian statistics service examination. So 
by preparing yourself for one examination upsc examination you have the knowledge you have the power to appear for various examinations apart from that you can appear in psc examination also various examination conducted by various government organizations i think i can tell you it is a one stop solution what we you need is your efforts your efforts and will, your willingness your confidence for this we are ready to help you our ias examination ready to help you in all aspects we have in the last 8 years we have the, the mode of our operation is we are conducting lot of awareness meetings by visiting various colleges particularly the colleges run by muslim educational institutions we have conducted our classes our meetings in sadakatola pa college in jamal mud college in like various colleges and first we are making the awareness among the students encouraging them to join our ias courses so in the last 8 years more than 84 students have been employed in various uh, various departments in uh, edu in education department in, in income tax department in in excise department in particular in the last year more than 5 candidates have become sub collectors sub collectors dsps by appearing through tamil nadu public service Com commission so we have a lot of success stories and also our ias academy is supported by our former regional director sadakutala sir he has a very um, a good experience knowledge when he was young he has prepared for the ias examinations and he got through but due to some reasons he could not be able to join that ias uh, uh, that kind of job he joined uh, reserve bank of india and uh, he is retired now he is heading our organization as well as our uh, pm basir shop former uh, the ias officer retired ias officer he is advisor for our ias academy and he served our ias academy for almost 2 3 years and he has helped uh, our ias academy to function effectively also senior ias officers and educators are supporting and uh, our our young uh, trustees uh, trustees who have, who have who have been working in various departments are helping business people or helping our ias academy to make them a successful organization and uh, giving very good um, uh, training to our students i hope um, why we have um, we have we have started this online courses because we want to take these courses to the to all kind of students to the village to the village level to the district level to talk the talk level because they don't have the necessary finance to come to the cities normally the is academies are to be conducted in cities uh, in particular in madras the famous reputed academies are in madras and nowadays of course it has come to district level also even staying in districts uh, spending money for their boarding and lodging it's all become costly so we plan to bring into the uh, online level so that each and every look and look and corner of the country even the people from abroad living in uh, middle east countries and other countries also can join uh, in this course and they can get benefited by this course i hope this course online courses will become very successful and it will make it will encourage our students to join and uh, it will encourage them to join and uh, be successful i wish that uh, more and more students will join and that they should get the benefit of our efforts i think i also pray let it be a successful venture um, uh, thank you once again thank you for the guest thank you for the experience thank you all the best jazakumullah khair tata for uh, a very aspiring speech alhamdulillah tata has rightly stated that there are more than 200 participants in this launch event today and which makes me say that it is indeed a grand launch event. And this is proof enough that people who are aspiring to become civil service officers, this is a platform which can be accessed by people from all walks of life. Kaka has rightly pointed out that by preparing for the UPSC examinations, you're not just preparing for just one exam, but a host of examinations. And when you're persistent, and if you persevere on your goals, success is sure to follow inshallah and as he mentioned before a couple of months we had the privilege of felicitating five of our candidates who have joined as deputy collectors and deputy superintendent of police now it is indeed an honor to have such eminent personalities as mentioned by our chairman it is not every day that we have such high ranking officers and decorated officers amongst us and certainly today is definitely an occasion of importance and a landmark.